Hello viewers and welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is uh, RPR test. Uh, but before starting this topic, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos to support this channel. Uh, now I come to the topic, what is RPR test, you know? So RPR stands for the Rapid Plasma Regain, you know? And the Rapid Plasma Regain test is a blood test which is used uh, uh, to screen uh, for uh, syphilis you know and it works by detecting the non-specific antibodies that uh, your body produces to fight the infection you know and uh, you know syphilis is a sexually transmitted infection which is caused by the uh, spirochet bacterium uh, treponema uh, pallidum you know and uh, it can be fatal if it's left untreated you know and uh, combined with the specific antibody testing the rpr test allows you doctor to confirm the diagnosis of active infection and start your treatment as soon as possible you know and uh, this procedure uh, uh, in fact this uh, uh, reduces the chances of the complications and the spread of the disease by an infected uh, but un unaware person you know uh, your doctor may order this test uh, uh, for several reasons and uh, it's a quick way to screen those uh, at high risk for the syphilis and uh, your doctor may also order this test if you have syphilis like uh, sores or syphilic lawyer crashes you know and the doctors routinely screen the pregnant woman for the syphilis using the RPR test you know and uh, uh, you know this test uh, measures the antibodies that are not specific only to syphilis or rather than the bacterium that causes the disease itself, you know. And it can also be used to check the progress of the treatment for active syphilis. And after a course of the effective antibiotic therapy, your doctor would expect to see the number of antibodies drop, you know. So this test uh, will confirm this. So we will repeat this test, you know. Well, your doctors obtain the blood uh, for this test uh, uh, with a simple blood test called uh, venipuncture, you know. And this can be done in your uh, doctor's office or in the lab, you know. And you don't need to fast or take any kind of other special measures before this test. And the test involves the uh, steps like uh, your doctor uh, will ask you to sit in a comfortable chair or lie down on a couch, you know. And uh, 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 they will then tie the rubber band around your upper arm to help to make your veins uh, stand uh, like uh, stand out you know and to make it more visible you know and uh, when they find the veins they will uh, swab the spot uh, with the rubbing alcohol to clean and disinfect the area you know and insert a needle into the vein and the needle may produce uh, a sudden or maybe sharp pain but typically does not last for long you know and once uh, they have uh, the blood sample they will remove the needle from your vein uh, hold the pressure and uh, uh, on the puncture site and uh, for the few seconds just to stop the bleeding and then we'll put a bandage on that you know so there's no complication uh, there will be a little bit discomfort a little bit pain you know and afterwards there may be a little bit bruising you know or maybe chance of infection but it's very rare anyhow yeah, mostly it's a uh, complication free procedure you know and mostly you know and uh, it's a mi minimally invasive procedure you know and then the, that sample will be sent to the lab to see for the antibodies, you know, and uh, a normal RPR blood sample uh, shows no antibodies to syphilis, you know, and uh, your doctor cannot completely rule out the syphilis if they see no antibodies. And once you have been infected, it takes some time for your immune system to create the antibodies, you know, to fight the bacteria, you know, and uh, shortly after the infection, the test may not show any antibodies, you know, uh, but this is uh, known as the false negative. And the false negative tend to be more common in the initial and the end stages of infection, you know. And among the people uh, who are in the secondary or the middle stage, you know, uh, uh, this test uh, is nearly always positive, you know. And uh, RPR test also can produce the false positive results, uh, uh, suggesting that you have syphilis uh, when you actually don't, you know. And uh, one reason for the false positive is uh, the presence of an other disease like uh, that produces the antibodies similar to the ones uh, 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 that fight for the syphilis you know and uh, 
a few of these conditions that can cause the false positive test include like HIV, Lyme disease, maybe lupus, you know, and malaria, you know, and uh, the certain types of pneumonia as well. And uh, if the result is negative, your doctor may ask you to wait for a few weeks and uh, repeat the test, you know. And uh, this is because the uh, this test uh, is uh, the potential for the false negative, you know. And, uh, you know, due to the risk of the false positive results, your doctor will confirm the presence of the syphilis uh, with the second test, you know. Uh, with a few weeks interval and uh, one that is specific for the antibodies against the bacterium that causes the syphilis before starting your treatment you know and one such test is called like a fluorescent uh, trapo, uh, traponymol antibody absorption test you know and uh, your doctor will start uh, uh, with the antibiotics uh, treatment you know and usually the penicillin injected into the muscle uh, uh, if your uh, uh, these both tests both show sign of syphilis you know and the new infection really responds to the treatment very quickly you know and at the end of the treatment your doctor will most likely recommend that you get another test you know uh, to confirm the decline in the level of the antibodies you know so which indicates that uh, the treatment is working well you know uh, thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com thank you and goodbye